All right, so me and Miss Mason, my work wife, have spent a lot of time <laughs> on Pinterest lately. One would say too much time. And we discovered something, a strange subculture of people who like to pretend to paint. And so me and Miss Mason are gonna be reacting to people pretending to paint. And so, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're gonna go through, Miss Mason's looking at some pictures and I'm looking at some pictures and we're gonna rate them one to five as far as believability. We're also um, not saying that we're mocking these people, but we are kind of making fun of them because if you're going to pose in front of a painting, why not just paint then? So. <laughs> is one don't. least most believable and five is most believable? Exactly. All right. So here we go. So go to slide two. It looks like a makeup tutorial gone bad. I know, doesn't it? I, I actually had a <laughs> kindergartner paint her face like this once and I sent her to the principal's office. Yeah, Ruby didn't like it either. Well, apparently you should have just Instagrammed her. Apparently. She asked to wash her face before she left and I was like, no. Mm. <laughs> You're going to the office like that. <laughs> so well, yeah. I hope it's acrylic paint and she can't get it off. I know. I hope this photo shoot took a really long time. <laughs> All right, so what would you rate this one from one to five in believability? One. I agree. I'm giving it a one. We should do a, a one, two, three, and so we don't influence each other. <laughs> okay, deal. There we go. All right, so we'll do like the rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. All right, so that'll go be on the next one. All right, so slide number two or three. All right, so this one is a little bit more believable, except for like... It looks like a paint and pour one. Yeah, I know. That was what I was just going to say. It's like, she's got paint brushes, but it looks like paint and pour. And also, she has no paints out. Or pants out. I <laughs> They get way worse. Uh, I didn't add any of the bad ones, but like this was like the most... Uh, the furthest I would go as far as the risque ones. That's a whole nother subgenre of the people pretending to paint. All right, so there let's- There would be puppy prints of paint all over the place if she was actually painting. I know, and dog hair. People don't think about how much dog hair gets in paintings, especially if you're painting on the floor. Look. No crap. All right, so let's give it the one, two. All right, so one, two, three. Oh, you give it a, <laughs> you know? I could believe she painted it. That's why I was like, because painting for her. But some of these. She's got nothing. Got nothing. All right, go to the next one. <laughs> Alicia's she paints out. <laughs> but I take a good look at those paints, though. <laughs> those are like watercolor paints. Yes. I know. I was like waiting for you to like realize to see that because like she's got obviously like acrylic or tempera all over her. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, acrylic is opaque and it will show up on your skin. Watercolor will not. It'll just look like stain or shade. It won't look like anything usually on your skin. So uh, she is obviously not painting with those paints. So and, 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 like, who paints with, like, the one shoulder down, like... I know, you got, like, painting is all about being comfortable and feeling inspired, and this girl, there's nothing comfortable about what she is wearing and how she's painting. She's got the Princess Leia buns. She does! It's to keep her hair out of her <laughs> eyes. Too bad she didn't think about that with her straps. <laughs> Alright, so let's give it the one, two. Alright. No I way, even, she didn't paint that. I know, she didn't paint it. I think, though, the fact... No, I, I can, can I change it? I'm gonna go to two. Yes. I'm gonna go to two. Three I can see hot. that maybe she's a painter, and, like, this is her senior picture or something. That yeah. might make sense. Like, those paints have been painted with before, so yeah. I can see where you're going with that. Yeah, I. that's exactly what I was thinking, too. Like, at least she had, like, a painting. The other one was, like, paint and pour, and I was like, that's just silly. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next one. 
Why do people like to put paint on their skin? It's not a good test palette. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. Again, I, another paint and pour. It, exactly, and I love how like, the other thing is, is if you look down at the little paint palette, the Bob, the Bob Ross paint palette, yeah. nobody actually uses those. Like no. unless you're painting with oil and painting all at yeah. once, no one ever uses those because you can't cover them up. Like that's the silliest thing. And so like all of these have these like paint and pour pictures and then they've got these like lip and it's perfectly shaded from like blue. There's more art going into that actual like palette than there is to the actual Look how clean picture. that easel is. That easel is way too clean also. Like you get paint all over your easel. That thing is like brand spanking new. I know. My easel's brand spanking new and it's got paint all over it. So yeah. All right. So let's give this the one. The kitchen table has more paint on it than that. <laughs> All right. Give it the one too. You are just not giving them. Paints. You're not giving them anything. You're not. You're not budging. This is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I gave it a. I gave it a. What two. kind of painter has white walls like that? Who has That's a house true. like that if they're a painter? I know. If you're a painter, you're poor. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> true that no no that's not true but it's a uh, I do agree that usually a painter doesn't have white walls and then also like I did give her a little bit of credit because she does have all the supplies that's true that she does have the supplies like the face paint one I was like come on all right so here's go to the next one She looks like messier. I could maybe see that actually happening. Like she's got paint around. Mm-hmm. Is she actually painting right there? No. Yeah. Where's your well yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she's got like a tarp down, and so that makes sense. And she's um like she's got like comfortable clothes in. She's got her hair comfortable. There's that's a big thing. Comfort. She's got a water cup there, like a dip cup. That like makes sense. Yeah. People can paint clouds. I believe yep. that one. Yeah. All right, let's give this one the rating. Yeah. I started with five, and then I was like, no, I because she, I do believe she painted that, but I don't think that she was painting it at that very moment. Just no, she doesn't have a paint on herself. Yeah, and she's also, I think, another pantsless painter. Yes, I agree. I don't know. I can't paint without pants on. Who does that? I can't do anything without pants on. <laughs> All right. So, uh, fun fact, I did look up this person because I, when I looked her up, I was like, I wonder what she is. She is actually a painter and she does paint these, but yeah, she does always okay. do a photo shot shoot with herself in these painting positions that are always really funny. <laughs> like they're just, you this know, is how I paint. I'm a painter. <laughs> I paint like this. <laughs> Everybody give your painting faces. This is how Mrs. Mason and me paint. <laughs> no one's going to be calling us for our photo shoots anytime soon. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? All right, so the next one. This one I think I'm really curious to as to what you think of it. Oh, it's, okay. I was like, what's in her hand? She's painting with a hand that's got a wine glass in it where her glove is. The actually <laughs> hand that's painting doesn't have a glove. She's painting like gold leaf, which smells super freaking toxic, and she looks too happy. Mm hmm. Unless she's high on fumes. I know. That's exactly. Is that a torch in the background? I think so. Ow. That's the only part of this that makes me think it might possibly be legit. Who else has a torch in the background? I think that she, this is another situation where I think that, like, this is someone who may have done this. It's just they chose afterwards, like, do you think they painted it at this moment? And then also Absolutely. how posed do you think it is? Because the wine glass. There was nothing on her brush. Yeah, there's nothing on her brush. Gold leaf is disgusting. So disgusting that you do feel the need to have a glove on, but you're then going to drink an open beverage. <laughs> And not have a gloved hand on the hand that's touching it. You should be wearing a respirator, actually. Yeah, and not drinking liquids. <laughs> no, yeah, not so much. Also, don't you do... Why is it already hanging on a clean wall? Yeah, don't you do gold leaf setting down? 
you don't do gold. Yes, for first. sure. Yeah, because it it blows away, and it's really like like that's the whole thing. Like you just said it, gravity has to be part of it. So yeah. And again, wearing white. <laughs> it's a trend. It's a trend. <laughs> <laughs> a bad one. You can't argue with art, except for when you can. <laughs> Can you All not right. just wear white before Labor Day? Do you think she's painting in this one? Let's give it the... Yeah. I think she did paint, but I think that this is the most set up picture. Like, this one is super duper set I'm up. I'm not even convinced she actually... That looks like a makeup brush for one. I don't oh. know. I don't believe her. I know. It's There's a lot. There's a lot of flaws to this one. So it will be slide <laughs> run slide ten. <laughs> uh, this one's wearing socks but no pants. Like you know, moving up. You got to keep those tootsies warm. Again, white. Her hair is definitely not pulled back enough. Yeah. Are you? Do you? She see does have a glove on the right hand. That's true. But are you seeing something wrong with the particular picture? Okay, let something me make that it I noticed. Something I noticed is when I was looking at it. She's using a Sharpie or something. Yeah. Also, like a marker. Is it just me or is it already glossed? Oh, I guess that's hard to say. Oh, yeah, no, it's for sure reflective. Like to the left of her, you can see the shine and reflection. You can see a window reflection in it. Yeah. I thought that was part of the painting. No, yeah. Is it, isn't this already it's done? It's Kim Rose art on the bottom. It already has a signature on it. Yeah. There's, I think it's done. Like, I don't think she's, she's painting sitting on, fat, like, fur. <laughs> it's hanging on a clean wall. She's sitting on fur. <laughs> painting. I, she did paint this one. This is, like, her art. But, like, the thing is, like, so funny that to pose for it. Like, I think it's done. I don't think you're putting any more finishing touches on your hyper glossed piece <laughs> all right so believability one two oh wait oh. <laughs> one that she's do doing anything five that she made it yes yes she did make it it looks great she's a great I artist should average out as a three i suppose yeah it's just a, a, a real, real rough re representation. All right, the last two are real winners. Here we go. <laughs> That's the position that I always paint in, just so you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know why all these women aren't wearing pants. Like, they're not, like, risque. It's just the fact that, like, you know, gotta show the knee. I point my toe like that, too. I'm just like, oh, pointed toes white shirts I know and then her paints are just everywhere I don't know and again with that paint palette this I is feel like she went to a studio and had this taken like I don't believe she painted any of that stuff this yeah, is a setup somewhere the people this is photo a very stuff. obvious photo shoot but yeah. like did they even try like, I feel like there's not even an effort in it. Like, with at least the senior photo, there was, like, an effort. Right. So, all right, let's give it the one, two. All right, yeah, we both, that's super low. All right, and the last one. <laughs> oh, sorry, I have a of cough. So, for my photography students, this is both disappointing for both artistic reasons and photographic reasons this is just a disappointing picture <laughs> like what are there is straws in there was she drinking that paint i know i cannot figure out a single thing about this picture like she's painting a rose surrounded by splatter paint there are straws in it like i could imagine if she was like blow painting except for why it's not even, it's not even a thing. You'd eat more of it than you, I mean, you can blow watercolor, not that. I know, you can't really do that. And it just works better if it's actually, like, just, if you're gonna splatter. do splatter. Use a toothbrush or something, yeah. Yeah, exactly, like, I don't, I don't get it. And then why is she painting the flower? And that paintbrush has no paint on it. 
that's like that one like that's like a lot of them there's been no paint on any of these paintbrushes like get your get your act together people yeah like if, if you're, you're gonna, gonna fake it at least dip it in the paint yeah there's like no paint on any of these but yeah this one is like even more conceptual oh my gosh <laughs> ruby just farted so more paint on her than the brush <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, yeah. So she I, thinks about that. Yeah, she thinks it's farts. So yeah, this one, <laughs> this one, uh, this one I think was like the most disappointing. I think even if like somebody like in my photography class turned this in, I'd be like, "What were you going for? What was what was the plan? What were you thinking?" So, all right, let's let's give it the one two. Yeah, zero. That's a good one. I agree with that. All right. So that was um, art teachers react to people pretending to paint. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> Join us next time. There's <laughs> not going to be a next time. <laughs> All right. And we're done.